can see it still bullet holes all in the you see the holes it's like a memorial um there that's been up since he passed away 11 year old dominic davis was killed near his mom's home just days after making his school's basketball team five others were injured in the november shooting when a hail of gunfire hit the group of children from a passing car he didn't deserve to go like at all he didn't deserve to go like he did and he did it wasn't his time the shooting remains under investigation, but federal investigators believe the 22 shots fired came from a weapon that had been illegally converted to fire like a machine gun. Laws against machine guns in the U.S. date back to the bloody violence of Prohibition-era gangsters like Al Capone. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives says today's threat comes in the form of little pieces of metal or plastic made with a 3D printer or bought online. Auto sears, Glock switches, forced reset triggers, different kinds of devices, all aimed at doing the same thing, which is making a legal firearm into an illegal machine gun. And people invent new ways to do it, cheaper ways, quicker ways, more dangerous ways. Explaining this, what we're referencing these back plates, looking at the back plates here, to where you would not be able to tell the difference with these, with law enforcement, state, federal, local, whatever it may be, just by picking this up and looking at it. You would actually have to review the internal components of this to make sure they're there because they're practically exactly the same just by visual look alone. However, this, this firearm here would actually have a machine gun conversion device installed, and this one does not. This is your standard Glock backplate to where this one has been 3D printed in, as a machine gun conversion device. Guns with conversion devices have been used in several mass shootings, including one that left four dead at a Sweet 16 party in Alabama last year, and another that left six people dead in 2022 at a bar district in Sacramento. There might be a shootout on the street between civilians where it used to be that five rounds, four rounds were fired, and now 50, 60, 70, 80 rounds are exchanged in that same time period back and forth. That does not just a danger to the person who is being shot at. That's a danger to the kid upstairs in an apartment a block away. Uh, it's a danger to the people sitting on their porch nearby. It is an absolute public safety threat that these machine gun devices are in our communities like they've never been before. Five year period, 570% increase in machine gun conversion devices those are just the ones that are reported by local law enforcement. It's a huge problem. But these are deadly and illegal devices. By the way, they're illegal to have them. It's illegal to give them to somebody. It's illegal to make them. It's against the law. They're considered machine guns under the eyes of the law, They right? are machine guns. That's correct. Just that piece of plastic itself. That Alone, without anything else. You're walking around with that piece of plastic, you can be prosecuted and sent to prison for it. The ATF works with local law enforcement agencies on trainings to identify conversion devices. As for Davis, he plans to start a foundation called For Every 11 to fight gun violence and to honor his son's memory. I still want to keep his name going. Um, he deserved to be still relevant. I have to keep going no matter how much grief I, I grieve him in, in, in private. And Nathan Elgren, The Associated Press.